Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor Nation Today Update channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Claire Crawley announces her daughter's amazing achievement, visual, for years, fans of Bachelor Nation have been hoping for Claire Crawley to live a happily ever after. She debuted in the franchise as a participant on The Bachelor's 18th season. In the season of Juan Pablo Galavis, she finished second. On the first two seasons of Bachelor in Paradise, The Bachelor Winter Games, and lastly, season 16 of The Bachelorette, Claire looked for love. Shortly after they departed the show, she became engaged to Dale Moss. In 2023, she married Ryan Dawkins. Through surrogacy, they welcomed Rowan, their first child, into the world in January 2024. Claire Crawley revealed the most recent amazing achievement of her daughter. To view the video, remain on this page. From her very first episode on the show, Claire Crawley made it clear that she was a mother at heart. For her, it happened at the start of the year. She frequently updated her followers on social media about Rowan's accomplishments and shared with them many details of her surrogacy experience. Viewers have seen Rowan grow from a small infant to a perceptive toddler. Earlier this week, Claire Crawley shared her daughter's surprising milestone on social media. The Bachelor Nation celebrity posted a video of her seven-month-old baby walking. When your dad is an Iron Man, it only makes sense you walk at seven months, said Claire Crawley as the video's caption. My baby girl, please slow down. Mama needs to savor these moments. Her husband enjoys running a lot and serves as CEO of Mascot Sports. Their daughter appears to be a straight-A student. Even while Rowan still has occasional wobbly moments and is not quite solid on her feet, it is evident that she is walking in the video. Naturally, Claire was both very happy and a little sad that her daughter was growing up. Toddlers usually begin to walk around nine months old, according to WebMD. The daughter of Claire is progressive. Her fans responded to the cute video on social media as follows. She's no longer crawling, I'll be here for the entire week. Whoa, she's really amazing. Be prepared, it's exhilarating and demanding all at once. As I mentioned earlier, Rowan also desires to run. She already strives for too much. Great parents make for happy, thriving babies, as I've said before. Her first 3K is when. Whoa, that is really amazing. Her birth was a miracle. She has big things ahead of her. Adorable beyond words. No matter what, Rowan will cross that finish line. Walk, run, or even crawl if necessary. She is determined. Whoa. She's on the run. As this season's leading man on The Bachelor, Joey Grazia Day has been granted a second opportunity at atonement after his insane uncle destroyed his chance at love just four months prior. If you watched the first episode of the new season last week, everything seems to point to Joey's quest for love ending in tragic suffering. The song When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish fit the tone, since it was playing over an emotional cold open in which Joey was wiping tears from his cheeks and seeing a white Sudanese car drive off in the distance. To be honest, I thought it was one of the most spectacular reality program openers I had ever seen. Not too long after, I started to question how the seemingly perfect bachelor could have gone wrong in the world. This season, the drama will be exciting to follow as we witness the train slide off the tracks right before our eyes. After just two episodes, we already witnessed the desperation of the suitors trying to stand out from the dozens of other ladies vying for the attention of one man. Leah was also given the opportunity to completely upend the reality television industry after winning the lottery and making her way onto the show while attending the After the Final Rose event. A letter was presented to her, stating that she could stop someone from going on their one-on-one -on -one date with Joey at any time during the season by intercepting a one-on-one -on -one date. Leah would then be able to assume control of the date. We have seen 47 whole seasons of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette together, and not once have we seen a hidden immunity idol a law survivor. That shouldn't be shocking either, as it would totally contradict the premise of the show. Ultimately, a gimmick has no bearing on a person's choice to fall in love. 
So, in the end Leah felt it was best to throw the envelope in the fire and prove to the rest of the women that she believed in Joey's natural process of finding love. It demonstrated, above all, that she was a girl's girl. She was handed a hand, which she played incredibly well. Even though this isn't Survivor, everyone who has ever watched the show understands that you need a plan in order to move forward. Leah already had an in, but everyone else had to identify themselves and show they were there for the proper reasons. And eliminating the one thing that gave her leverage over the rest of the women revealed that she was entirely here for one thing. Joey's bond with the 31 other ladies was strengthened by the crocodile tears, which also tricked her into awarding her the first impression rose. Leah was only following a plan, and she followed it exactly. However, the what-ifs will not go away. Can you picture Shanae or Queen Victoria taking control of someone's date by removing their reverse Uno card? Whether we agree with the choice or not, we were cheated out of a once-in-a-lifetime bachelor moment. Lauren managed to accomplish the extremely uncommon task of generating a lasting impact and becoming memorable on the first night in the season premiere. She made her debut by shotgunning a beer with Joey and then confessing that she is one of the housegirl sisters. She even cracked a joke during the rose ceremony about her sister receiving the first rose, but having to persevere till the very end. But in the second episode, Lauren's attitude changes during the group outing when she is reminded of her recently deceased father. She intends to inform Joey about the feelings she's experiencing, but when she discovers that it's impossible to even talk to The Bachelor, she realizes how complicated this program is. Following the group outing, Lauren acknowledges that she was delusional and made up a story about why the mood was being low. Her next objective is to locate Joey and offer her apologies. Joey not only gives her time with him, but she also feels heard and understood. If she had simply left things alone, she could have rushed to the rose ceremony and gone about her business the following week. You cannot deny that there are business prospects, even though the majority of the suitors are here for the right reasons. Research indicates that as you advance, you will gain more social media following and opportunities to work outside of the program. Additionally, statistics indicate that your odds of surviving to the next episode are 99.9% .9 higher if you disclose that you are mourning the loss of your father. Sadly, this girl is simply oblivious to the opportunity that is right in front of her. She needs her one-on-one -on -one time with Joey at the cocktail party once more. She is so desperate that, this early in the game, she tries a daring attempt that almost never succeeds. She is able to announce her departure from the show. But when he finds her, he wishes her well and dumps her with elegance using some PR magic. The uncomfortable part is that he doesn't even ask her to think it over.